in Bulgaria. Today is gonna be the start of a new series um, about love, dating, and so on. And um, we're gonna do a game today with Gabi, my very precious friend. Thank you for joining me in my channel. Super my pleasure. <laughs> super excited to have you here. Uh, and basically the game is we're gonna read one statement. We're gonna say do we agree or if we do not agree, and we're gonna discuss in between a statement about love, relationships, dating. That's about it, actually. So stay tuned for the for the game. So the first statement is: long distance relationship can work out, but no. this is a tricky one, though. Tricky one, yeah. It's work out for a certain amount of time with. A perspective for the future so like future moving in together yes and we have an example right now that it's still working for four years now right so no. like in the beginning it's better let's you just if we just mm. met it's good for us to be in the same city like let's say one year or let's say you know just a certain amount of time because I've been in a position where we meet like two days later, he goes to his country and then the relationship just falls off. Well, that's what happened with us. The mm -hmm. first couple of months, we were in the same city mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we went into a di distance relationship. But mm -hmm. the good thing about distance relationship is what nobody really takes into consideration is the fact that you kind of put this like raw sex energy a little bit to the side and you actually get to know the person. We can uh, we can make just an uh, just a one episode just for that. For so just long just like, yeah. Let's do next. Yeah, uh, next, next one. You have to make compromises so a relationship can work. I don't like this word. Mm. <laughs> uh, what depends? What kind of compromises? Compromise. Is meeting the person in the middle basically you're in one end of the spectrum mm -hmm. on, a, on a topic and he's on the other end of the spectrum mm -hmm. of the topic and compromise is essentially just meeting in the middle okay but maybe we could just say another word because compromise is like as if I'm just neglecting my a need or a, like a wish or something that's that's how it sounds well it, it kind of is sometimes but if you think about it, there is no other way. Like, there's no way that you will find a person who has the exact same visions as you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So essentially, you would have to compromise if you want to have a serious relationship and like build a future with this person. Yeah. It has to be done. Yeah. I it guess. I guess. Yeah. You're. I, she's she's right. I'm like I'm, I'm like that, but I I know that the answer is is that one. Like generally, that's the, yeah. I think what you know. bothers you is the idea that you want to be a very strong, independent woman, which I want to or wanted. However, a relationship contains of two people. Yeah, and it's just not fair for you to go and be like, right, I'm independent and I want to stay that way, and you have to figure out how to live with me basically i'm not sure if it's the like the strong independent woman more like just about me being free to do what what i want like meaning for example let's say to do a solo trip i mean i know that mm. it's gonna be fine the person's gonna be fine with it but i feel like sometimes there are some restricting parts in a relationship like you're restricting my freedom so I'm afraid a bit of that, but I'm sure that if I meet maybe someone that has similar mindset, maybe I'm not gonna feel like that. But what so. would be restrictive thing? Like, yeah, but sometimes I just wanna go somewhere by myself. It could be a party, uh, like a, a surf camp or whatever, and it just, mm. because when you go with someone else, like a friend or, or like obviously a boyfriend, girlfriend, 
you're restricting, you, you won't meet maybe everyone. You're, it's a bit restricting. It's always like that. Or let's say if you go to um, a sea vacation with your girlfriends, with, with, a, with a group, it's not, you, you stay within somehow the group. You can still meet other people, but it's, it's different when you're by yourself. When you're by yourself, you, you meet just people and it's, mm. it's very fun. For me, it's a fun experience. So maybe that, for example. This. When you get into a relationship, then you, have, you start having other type of experiences. I mean, yeah. you say, for example, mm -hmm. now that you really enjoy this party as a solo female, but that's because you're looking at it from the point of a solo female. Yeah, that's true as well, yeah. I mean, the couple that was also there was enjoying themselves as well, as a couple. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I already forgot what the question was, yes. but anyway. <laughs> watching porn on your own without your partner is okay. <laughs> that was I think yes, yes, but I am not the person to watch porn anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if Steven's watching porn now. Is he? That's a good question, actually. We're gonna have a talk <laughs> when I come home. I don't know how I would feel about that, actually. I mean, it will be interesting to watch it together, maybe. I think, yeah. I mean, why not? Because it's a video, like. But yeah. Could be. You could talk. Be. But then again, I would be like, why would you need to watch this? You have me. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean though? It could serve as an inspiration or it's mm -hmm. just your time to just see like because everyone has some fantasies, right? And sometimes you just you could all obviously have them in your head, but sometimes there are videos for that and you just enjoy your, your time by yourself. Going to a party <laughs> when you know your ex is there <laughs> by yourself. I know what I have to answer. <laughs> I mean, I won't do that. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm not 100% yes about it, but I'm also not 100% no about it because I, what I don't like is making it a big deal. So okay, if okay. I say specifically, I'm not going to this party because my ex is there, it, it makes it a big deal. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, your ex. Yeah. And, and it's God not, forbid. and for you it's, it and it shouldn't be, like, your ex is just a random person. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't have, for example, feelings about my exes, so for me it's just, they're just people, basically, just, just guys. Just yeah, and if it's a place where there are a lot of people there, mm -hmm. yeah, like, what's the problem? Yeah. But, like, if my partner has a big problem about that, and I'm not that bothered about the party anyways, I wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. But if I really want to go, and he has a problem, now we're going to have a conversation. Okay, I like the answer. And then I'll still go. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Knowing your phone and email password of your significant other is a must. Ding, 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 ding. Of course not. Yeah, of course not. That's a little bit creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't, don't want to, to know what's happening with the phone. If I really want to, it needs to just things are not working. There are no secrets in a relationship. One hour later. Middle ground? Yeah, okay. Depends what the, what secrets are. Actually. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Cause I mean, if it's my secrets, I don't think I have secrets from my partner, but let's say, if a friend of mine tells me a secret, you know, I still tell him, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the time. Unless it's like really serious secret and someone tells me like, do not tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Then, I will consider not telling it to Steven. <laughs> consider. <laughs> yeah, I understand like when, when you're with your partner, you're very close and you say everything, you know that you're not, he's not gonna tell like the other people he's not a gossiper yeah. but for me let's say if i have a really a personal secret that something happened in the past and i just don't want to share it with anyone so for me yeah i don't need to tell him or anyone but that leads me to the second statement do you think that your partner should know everything about all your past relationships mm -hmm. yeah well need is a very strong word first of all 
Does he really need to know? Probably not. Do I want to share? Now that's another thing. But what I think is good to be shared is maybe the bad, the bad part of previous relationships because mm -hmm. that will help your current relationship to kind yeah. of figure stuff out. Of course. Whereas I'm pretty sure your partner wouldn't want to know like all the good part of your yeah, yeah, previous the relationships now. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so marriage and kids are the natural continuation of a relationship. Okay. But hold on, for my relationship or for the relationship just in ge general? Uh, yeah, general, I actually. Because for general, general, it would be no. Yeah. For mine, it could be yeah. But. Because for mine, it's for sure yes. Yeah, I agree. And for then, everyone is no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for everyone. Because people are different and some people don't want to have kids. And some people don't want to have marriage. Yeah. So that's fine. Because some people say, hey, you, I mean, you need to have kids or you need to marry in order to keep up with the. Uh, whatever you know with the, the relationship like yeah the, exactly and to keep the relationship going but it doesn't need to be right it's, it's a personal choice uh, my partner must meet all my needs <laughs> <laughs> well that's a very generic question though yeah I mean, what needs? Your sexual needs? Your like day-to-day -day needs? Your mental needs? Because I don't think your partner can meet all your mental needs. Just There's general all the need needs. to do mm. yourself. Just all the like mental, emotional, physical. Well, I would say I no. Was... I would say no. Because I think that you okay, you were in a relationship and you you were like helping each other out and like progressing together. Mm -hmm. However, you're still different individuals, which means that you as an individual should keep meeting your needs. And then meet your partner needs. But then also when you say should your partner meet your needs, yeah, the it most sounds a little bit like parents. Like he's not your parent. Yeah. He doesn't need to like feed you and stuff. But depends if it's... it will be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but depends with needs. Like obviously it's if are something that is very important for you. For example, I need to express myself. I, like mm -hmm. when you where you connect through talking, like expression, if I don't if we don't meet this need of mine then we cannot it, it, the relationship cannot go forward so i'm talking about these ones like a very well the important yes, need but these are your love needs kind of and they have to be met because otherwise yeah so the so love yeah. needs yes, so, yes. but yeah. all the needs maybe no if let's say you, your need is to go outdoor maybe he's not an outdoor so much person like for activity yeah you can just go by yourself and just with yeah. friends. There is only one soulmate for everyone, for each person on the planet. And my theory is a one main soulmate and like a few other soulmates <laughs> that are more better soulmates. But you have other people that you very connect to and you, you've just seen them like for one hour and you really feel the connect as if you've just finished the conversation from yesterday but you've never seen that person before so i felt that and i know it's some sort of soulmate but it's or uh, they call it also twin flame or whatever but there is i believe in the soulmate with capital s which is like the the main main soulmate destined for each person I, I don't know if i believe in this just because i have vibed with with different people mm -hmm. obviously like I go in a relationship with someone it means that we vibe and so I think like okay maybe this is my person and this is my soulmate and for the time being it does feel like that and then the next person would come and you would vibe even more with the next person and you're like oh, okay so actually the previous one was not my soulmate so this one has to be it yeah and for example in the case of my current relationship like I didn't see him from the first glance be like, okay, this is him, this is my soulmate. Yeah. I was like, we could be friends. <laughs> and he was like, nope. And now, like the more we started spending time with each other, the more it was like, okay, I feel like I know you for at least a couple of years, although we met a month ago. And this is more, but I don't think this is a soulmate type of thing. It's something maybe, maybe we've known each other in the previous life kind of thing which could still be a soulmate, could still be a soulmate. <laughs> nah maybe it's not only one 
Because imagine how limited this could be. What if your soulmate is in China? Would you do then? How do you meet? Maybe you don't meet in this life. That, that's we go to the a bit like esoteric topics. So basically, somehow you're gonna meet. Let's may, may say he has a a business trip in in, in <laughs> Bulgaria. <laughs> because I meet I've met so many foreigners here just being here. So it's possible. Yeah. Or let's say you go somewhere in Bali and then he from China comes to Bali and then you meet or you don't meet this life, you meet another life if there are other lives life doesn't really happen like that it's not like, okay, we meet love at first sight, oh I'm in Bulgaria, he's in China but he's my soulmate he's gonna quit his job and come to Bulgaria and we're gonna live happily ever after no, I mean, it doesn't kind of also, I... there are people who meet their soulmate every couple of years we know who that is Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe there's one person for you, one specific soulmate, because that would also mean that eventually you would settle down for someone. Yeah, that doesn't seem fair. I mean, you to settle down with still a soulmate, a better soulmate. No, <laughs> which I is still a soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> which is it? Life could still be super nice with a better soulmate. This yeah, but like you, you would always be thinking like, but what if? Very nice. But you're not my soulmate. And I think at some point the person is gonna feel that. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> the rockets and things differently, I don't know. So you think that you would you would go somewhere, you would see someone and you'll be like, that's, that's it. I don't connect soulmates with love from first sight. It could be more, more something we just connect on a per like just person's level. And then it could be also comes with the like, Coup de foudre, um, uh, like love, love from first sight, but it could be just you just connect, you just connect with a person, and you just feel good in their company. Could be that that so it depends. But it depends. It's really is it, it's more esoteric uh, question. So it depends if you believe in that and faster yeah. and previous lives and so on. Sex frequency equals a good relationship. Mm, depends, but I would say that it's not the uh, because it could be let's say once super good and then after that you could have a break of a longer period of time you know yeah. and it it is a very known fact that every relationship starts with the honeymoon phase where everything's yeah. like exciting everything's super passionate you still don't know the person that well you're literally having sex all the time and then after a while you just settle down kind of thing and also I saw a TikTok <laughs> that explained I don't know this is maybe more for women than for men but in the beginning you feel more you feel more need to have sex with someone because this is a way for you to connect to them yeah and to know them yeah to get to know them better and to feel to to build that connection yeah. okay because in the beginning you don't know this person yeah so your body's like, okay, I need to somehow like get connected to the to this person, like quick, have a lot of sex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of thing. And then with time, your sex drive I think goes like lower, mm -hmm. basically. And um yeah. yeah you okay. already have the connection. And then sex is just uh, a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah. You know when you said no, uh, in, I'm not like a Bible person or whatever, but I know some some things. Say two people have sex in the Bible, they don't they, they don't say have they have sex. They say to know them. So he knew her like mm. to present sex. So if I think you don't have sex for a long period of time, I think me and you're, you're not attracted at all anymore, like physically maybe. I wouldn't stay in that kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah, but you can very easily check that. I mean, because sometimes you would not have sex for a longer period of time, mm -hmm. especially when you live together. You, it's just life hits you. Yeah. Basically, you both go to work. Different things happen at work. You would come home. You would be tired. The other person's not tired. The other person wants to have sex, but you are tired. Then the next, mm -hmm. the next day happens the opposite thing. But if you stop and think about it, like okay. Am I still attracted to this attracted to this person? And if the answer is yes. Yeah, but desire them? Yeah. 
But at some point it needs proof as well. I mean, if it doesn't, yeah, at some point, point you have happen. to make an effort. Yeah. What was actually the? I have no idea what the okay. question was. <laughs> the, 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 the topic there. Uh, I mean, then about sex, like a good relationship should be easy. I also agree with that. It's both. It's. Mm. I won't say yes. However, life has taught me that it's more of a no. And it's just because uh, life. <laughs> I mean, yeah. life happens. Yeah, I think there are, you overcome. That's why you stay with the person, you build something, you overcome some obstacles. Now, I still think that it should be, there should be some sort of flow. If it's too much difficulties, like you argue about every single thing and there's so many stuff that you don't agree with and it's just like even if you have a lot of passion for example but then the b 2 bs meet like the all the everyday life stuff mm -hmm. doesn't work you just you don't it, it's like like two puzzles that are like you know they don't fit yeah so in that case maybe it's just good to end the relationship if your partner is jealous it means that they care about you Yeah, yeah, okay, this is as well, but also that. Just not necessarily. Yeah. And not I'll tell you why. Because yeah. sometimes jealousy is out of um, self, yeah, ego, selfishness, basically. So, yeah, I totally agree. Sometimes it's really about the person itself yeah. that is jealous. It's more like, oh, it's. Someone's Something. gonna see my girlfriend cheating on me, how would that look on me? Yeah, but obviously little, there's jealousy like in a healthy way. I think it's cute and it's it shows that they care because sometimes if I've been in also situations where the, the person doesn't, they just don't, I don't know, they don't care so much. Mm. I mean, obviously they can be just not a jealous person anyway, but I don't know, just in a little like just a healthy way a condensed way otherwise if it's they ask you all the time what did you do where have you been and stuff like that it doesn't show care. Okay, it's more about themselves it's a their problem okay. another statement is talking texting with an ex <laughs> no the thing is if this person is an ex it's an ex for a reason okay mm -hmm. and so far I haven't had a relationship with someone that after we break up I'm like okay we should for sure stay friends never had that I'm not missing them as friends so yeah there's just no need I mean they, they I would I would say yes to still texting with an ex if this ex is some kind of incredible person that you cannot lose from your life but mm. the sad truth in life is that most people are kind of replaceable oh yeah 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 true so but in a case let's say you post a story and you still have your ex like one of your exes like he's a follower of yours and he just he says hey that's a very good place where is that do you think I mean, no, uh, I'm playing back would be okay? Or yeah, for sure. sure. Okay, in I that mean, case. But okay, maybe in my question was more like you text all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. It's a bit kind of Keep, weird. Keeping in touch. I mean, maybe if you really, really want to, once a year be like, hey, how are you doing? Everything good with you? Mm -hmm. But they have their friends to do that for them. Yeah. And you have your friends to do that for you. So realistically, what's the point? Mm -hmm. If, of course, if someone like if someone texts me, I'm a polite person. I would respond. I would yeah. be like, "Oh my god, I'm ex!" Block. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. But so I can tell you from a from your partner's point of view why this would be a no go. It's just mm. because they're always saying because this is an ex, there used to be feelings there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. in their mm. mind, it will be this feeling can easily like come to the surface again mm -hmm. I disagree with that I think an ex is an ex for a reason yeah exactly you really would not ever sleep again with them or just yeah and especially no. if you're in a happy healthy relationship now there shouldn't be any concern about that but you know yeah but some people 
also the other thing is like okay let's say you you trust your partner that your partner wouldn't do anything with the ex however most of the time you don't trust the ex yeah that the ex would be somehow inappropriate to your partner mm -hmm. yeah from what i've heard <laughs> i have a statement yeah did you enjoy being on sweatless youtube oh <laughs> well that's good that you enjoy being on your imagine YouTube imagine you're channel. saying no i would like oh <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching gabby thank you so much for being in my channel it was so so lovely to discuss with you all the things about dating love relationships and all that it was it was a huge pleasure it was a pleasure so uh yeah um stay tuned for another episode about this kind of series and we'll see you next time bye